Bombing, episode 98. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode 80. No, what? 80? 98. That's what I meant to say. 98 of Bombing Podcast. My name is Ryan Jennings. I'm Hayden Wyckoff. This podcast has an email. Bombingpodcast at gmail.com. Email us your questions, and we will look at them at the end of every single podcast. Yeah, man, this is our second Christmas episode. We're coming up on two years. This is the Christmas episode. Mm-hmm. Our second Christmas episode. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, and a bottle of rum. Am I right? That's, oh, no, that's pirates. That's not Santa. What? That's pirates. You oh, t- pirates say that? Yeah, pirates say bottle of rum. I, I think mean, Sa- no, I think Santa says that. He might. I don't know if he's drunk driving that sleigh up there. I have no idea. He definitely is. I think he's got. He's, you think he's booze cruising above the city? No. I mean, I would. Yeah, he's sipping rum and, and eating deer jerky. Uh huh. Oh yeah. Probably probably made from like older reindeer because there, there's like Blitzen and Dasher and Comet and, uh, and John and Rudolph that the, yeah. the famous one. Uh, but yeah, when the deer and Philip. I don't think Phillips. I mean, he may he may be one of the new ones, but I don't think Phillips one of the reindeer. What I'm saying is, I think he's one of the reindeer. When the reindeer die, they're a hundred percent. They get turned into like reindeer jerky. Yeah, probably. So he probably snacks on that and drinks from a big bottle of Sailor Jerry's. You think he's a Sailor Jerry's guy? I mean, I don't know. He's what? What do they drink in the North Pole? Eggnog. Uh, he's probably an eggnog guy, yeah. yeah. Eggnog with room for schnapps or yeah, something. Yeah. Dude, oh, dude, he's definitely booze cruising up there, though. You think Santa's ripping heaters up there on his sleigh? What, cigarettes? Yeah. Maybe. I mean, you know, he's probably got a zen in. Probably just up there. <laughs> mm, ho, 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 or whatever he says. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah. Is that all he says, though? I mean, he probably says, like, other words. He really likes Christmas. Yeah. He, like, really likes Christmas. Dude, that guy, Santa loves Christmas, <laughs> dude. Why does he like Christmas so much? It's, like, his favorite thing. Santa's favorite, favorite thing is Christmas. Yeah, man. Dude, he cares, he cares about nothing else. No, nah, dude. That, he fucking loves Christmas. That's his sole focus, dude. Yeah. Where do you think he spends his summers? I don't know, dude. You think he's down in Miami just on a beach? Just like, dude, these fucking bitches yeah. don't know what I'm about to do this winter. <laughs> Just you wait, dude. Imagine the first Christmas, the first Christmas. The kids he, get the kids get downstairs. They're the like, "Fuck is all whoa, this? whoa, dude? The fuck is this?" And he he was just like, "Ah, oh, fuck yeah, dude! I did that shit, man. I love doing this." Santa's a weird guy. Yeah, kind of odd. You know what no one asks about? Hmm. Mrs. Claus. Oh. I heard Mrs. Claus got that thing on her. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, did she have that thing? That's what I've what I've heard. Did she have that clap? I've heard she she got them fucking them cheeks. Dude. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard she gives that fucking. Where do you think Mr. and Mrs. Claus head knock? <laughs> That's what I've heard. <laughs> head knock, dude. <laughs> what a W woman. Oh, Mrs. Claus? Yeah. Yeah? W woman. Oh, yeah, dude. Ride or die. Yeah. She's about the fucking Christmas game. You know, I mean, that's a tough thing to, like, attach yourself to. Like, hey, I'm Santa. This is what I do. Are you in or out? And she was going, like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. I will participate in being, you know, Mrs. Claus. Yeah, that's a tough gig, man. It is a tough gig. Takes a strong woman. Mm Mm-hmm. How do you think? How do you think? Mister Claus met Mrs. Claus. Was it like at a bar or something? I think it was just like a regular woman that was like, "This guy's handsome. He's got a nice white beard." Yeah, I guess a little, little big, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, a little, little on the larger side, but that's, that's okay. Fine. He, he kind of pulls it off, you know. Mm-hmm. At least he's jolly. And then the, you, they have a couple drinks. They get to talking. He's and he was like, like, "Check out my my reindeer." Hey, you want to uh, head back to my sleigh and get out of here? Yeah. Definitely, he definitely drunk drove back to the North He Pole. did. 100%. He did. He, got, <laughs> he definitely did. You know Mrs. Claus, like, had, a, like, had like an ex-boyfriend? Oh, yeah. You know, who's L- like a, who, who's a fucking bartender or yeah. something? Some like, idiot. Like Rick? Yeah. Just Rick the bartender? <laughs> yeah. Who fumbled Mrs. Claus? Uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> and he, Mrs. Claus won that breakup. Mm-hmm. Rick- Sa- same with Santa. Santa had an ex-girl. Yeah. And who fumbled Santa. Mm-hmm. 
some Rebecca cheated on Santa for no reason. Uh huh. And that it was like before he was Santa. Yeah. And he was like, I'm, I'm gonna be Santa about it. And that's she, and that's she, how I'm gonna heal. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, yeah. Oh, he's he's so, so concerned about this Santa fucking bullshit. It's never gonna work. It's never gonna work. And then they broke up, and he went, I'll show you, fucking bitch. Yeah. yeah. And then becomes Santa. Yeah. He was like, dude. We, Santa's ex-girlfriend was like, we're in debt, we're behind on rent, we can't pay for this apartment. You keep making knickknacks yeah. and then giving them to folks. It's, what, it's, what you, it's weird. It's what, weird. What are you doing with the elves? No one fucks with the elves. What are you doing? <laughs> it's just you and two elves, like a starter business. And she's, <laughs> Santa's sitting there like, no, it's going to work. It's, it's going to work. It's a, you, have to, you don't trust the vision. It's a process. Yeah. And she went, I don't know. I just don't see Christmas happening. I don't see Christmas being a thing. And he went, "Yeah, I'll show you." Mm -hmm. And he showed her. Yeah. And now he's now now Christmas exists. Yeah, now he's fucking Santa. Dude. Yeah. What I think's weird about Christmas is that like, like why does Santa give like uh, like poor people poor people gifts, and then like rich kids get like rich kid gifts. Like, because that means that he decided, you know? Uh huh. Uh huh. Because no, he he I get it. he decided he was like. This guy in Dothan, Alabama is getting a like a wooden toy horse. Yeah. But then the rich kid in Brentwood, Tennessee is getting a BMW. A BMW. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know why does he do that? Cuz like he chooses. He just, he could get he could get give everyone white BMWs, but uh -huh. he, but he doesn't. So, some kids get like a rubber ducky. Yeah. Other kids get like a Bentley on their 16th birthday for Christmas. Yeah. You know? Pretty unfair, if you ask me. I, I, I'm just saying I think it's weird that he decides. Uh-huh. Yeah. Also, like, he gives, like, different races of people, like, specifically stuff they like. Which is good, but it's, like, weird that he had to, like, decipher that. Like what? What? Huh? Like what? I'm just saying, like, you know, I'll get things I like, and some Chinese guy will get some things he likes. Like what? I do, well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a Chinese guy. Like what specifically would the Chinese guy get? I don't know. A straw pointy hat or, you know, some chopsticks. I, or I don't know. I've just, I have, that's what my Chinese buddy told me. Your Chinese buddy? Yeah. Yeah, and then my black buddy told me that for sometimes for Christmas, he gets... Don't. I have to. Don't. I gotta do it. No, please don't. I have to do it. Dude, we can cut this all out. I think it's too late. Uh, watermelon and chicken. I'm just saying, that's what my black buddy told me he gets for Christmas sometimes. Okay? Sometimes. Oh my god. Just, I don't know. Like, but it's Santa. It's not me. It's Santa. I think it's Santa, man. Uh, Check it out. Check it out. No, 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 don't leave. Come on. What are you, where are you leaving? No, check it out. It matches. I met, me and the Zen are matching. It's my Christmas outfit. I'm, a, I'm Zen. I am Zen. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh. You don't think it's cool I'm matching my zen? I did this on purpose. Why? Because I'm zen, dude. I am zen. It's Christmas, not Halloween. You're not supposed to dress up like things, dude. Well, I wanted to be zen, dude. Well, then you're zen. Congratulations. Yeah. Now what? You're damn right I am zen. Oh, my God. I gotta pee. Okay. I gotta pee. I can make a drink too. All right. Are you looking at all the shit on your Christmas cap? Yes. Ugh, I got a bunch of. Mine's all dirty and fucking brown. I got the nice clean one. Mm -hmm. I wasn't quick enough when we opened the box. No, you weren't. <laughs> we opened that box and you went. <laughs> Look, you gotta be quick, man. I know. You gotta, I gotta be quick if you want the unwiped Christmas hat. <laughs> Look, it's my own fault. All right, um, guys, this is bombing. Oh, you did the all right, um, <laughs> the classic fucking. Is is all right, um, band? Is that is there no? Oh, oh. 
You remember, you know the uh, uh on stage. Oh well, yeah. There's you that. just did it. There's that. I do. I do that all the time. You do that all the time. I do. All right. Um, that's the. I hate hearing people say that. Well, what else are you supposed to do? Nothing. Not say it. I only do the all right um to acknowledge that the joke I just did yeah. bombed, uh -huh. which they do. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. And I I, I think that kind of smooths. I don't really even do it on purpose. It's kind of just natural. I'm like. I'm standing on stage. I'm like, I cannot believe that went this poorly. Yeah. And I, I and I can't just talking about Canadian hospitals. Mm -hmm. I can't just start talking about that. And yeah, and you you hear people go, uh, you know, because of the thing. Um, I hate it. You hate it? Yeah, it's a thing you gotta keep like a mental note of. Like I know I say, you know, a lot on stage, mm -hmm. and I've heard it, and sometimes I forget. Um, but yeah, like I have to keep a mental note. Don't say, you know, every three sentences. Yeah. You know, I was at the store, you know, and then I bought some, uh, well, carrots, you know? Well, you, you'll, you'll put it in like the middle of a joke. Um, I'll only go, I'll only pull out like the, oh, all right. Or like one of those at the end of a bomb, but you'll be like in the middle of a really good joke and pull out the, you know, and stick yeah. that in there. And uh, one, you know, is fine. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's also ums. Yeah, ums is another hard one. Um, <clears throat> it's just uh, nervous ticks things. It's yeah. not. It's it's just bullshit that you. It's a, uh, comes from uh, being uncomfortable. Yeah, well, it's because you're uncomfortable because the joke you just tried ate shit, and you're like, all right, mm -hmm. let's try one more. Oh, you know, you you want to know another one of those that I hate mm. is the uh, the the guy that goes, uh, well, this is gonna bomb. Like, oh yeah, that's you, yeah. You setting before, yourself up for failure. Exactly. Yeah, it's like this won't work. Why even? Why even proceed the joke with that? Yeah, like terrible. I know I do. I I touch my chest a lot. Like I like I have like certain places I put my hands, and I, I'm not thinking like, okay, and now and now move your hand to your chest. It's just I'm I'm just in telling the joke, but like I'll be talking, and I'll I'll just sort of put my hand on my middle of my stomach and chest. Yeah. And I'll say some things, and then I'll go like that, and then it goes back down to the side. I love I love a hand in the air. To, like half the pictures on my Instagram are like snapshots of me going like, like yeah. like that. I love a hand in the air. But then I've no I've noticed something. I've noticed uh, that that I do like it, like if I start bombing, I'll like I'll do the Shane Gillis hands. I'll lock in and like grab both hands on the mic. I'm like oh god, like holding I'm hanging on, on for dear life. Holding on for dear I'm life. I'm like oh Jesus. I'll do, I'll def, I'll do a couple of these, couple yeah. of elbow flares. You know. I've never. Done, been comfortable doing this. I like one hand, yeah, and then this one just this. I know, I notice you go right hand. I go left hand. Yeah, I go right hand. Mm, interesting. I've well, done left hand sometimes. Just to, I know I've been trying to get comfortable with it, but yeah, I'm running the right hand. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I'm right-handed. Mm, I'm right-handed too. Why left? I don't know. I play guitar with uh, with my left left hand, so maybe that's something. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I don't know. It always, it, it, it always felt more comfortable like this. Yeah, because when you're playing guitar, the left hand's doing the work. Yeah, it kind of is. That's the real. Yeah. Which is interesting because you're right-handed, but you're better. You got better dexterity with your left hand. Yeah, it's weird. You uh, you know, like every now and then, like we'll be at an open mic and someone will be like, "Hey, this is my first time going on stage," mm -hmm. and they they always grab the mic like a rapper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's like real high up. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. And look, there's no like right, there's no correct way to hold a mic, but I always just go like low near the cord, and so I always get like the thumb up, like right there. That always just felt comfortable to me. Yeah. I don't know why. You're sort of half holding it. Yeah. I like that, because then you can kind of dance with it. Mm -hmm. I feel like. And kind of wave it around a little bit, but then the, there's the guys that go like, "Yo, this so this is my first time ever on stage." Yeah. You know. Yeah. Which I can't imagine. I don't know why people say that. Hi everybody. This is my first time doing stand up. Well, I know why they I know why they say it. They say it to like damper expectations. They don't want to go up and, you know, eat a plate of shit like they're gonna. And I they, never said it when my first yeah, time. Yeah, me neither, but I wanted to I, I understand why they do it. Yeah, I guess I get why they do it cuz they don't they're like, "Guys, this is my first time. They're go easy on me." They're uncomfortable, exactly. Yeah. Go don't, easy on me. <laughs> don't ruin my life right now. Yeah. Cause it is it is it is humiliating doing uh -huh. doing stand up comedy, especially like like the first four or five times you get up. Mm -hmm. It's humiliating. It is. But I over cause I, I so didn't want that humiliation that I over prepared 
for my first time on stage, and I did great. I, I did great my first time. Um, it was my second time where I bombed hard <laughs> because um, I just over-prepared. I was like, I'm not going to go up there and fucking do it like all these other people. Hi, this is my first time. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. I didn't prepare anything. I had jokes. I knew what I was going to do. Get in. Do the shit. Get out. And I, and it worked. And I was like, oh, my God. I'm, I'm a stand-up co- comedian, you know? And then I go to another mic, and I went, well, exactly what I said the last mic work, worked then. Mm-hmm. It's going to work exactly the same way now. And I just said everything the exact way with no, like, changes to the room. It's a different room, a different crowd. And uh, I just ate a giant plate of shit. That's one of the and, earliest stand-up lessons is mm-hmm. that, like, you can do the same thing twice mm-hmm. and kill or bomb. Mm-hmm. And it, the, the, the difference is in, like... Like how you interpret the crowd and what you do in between those. Yeah. But that's like that's one of the first like lessons I learned. It still happens now. It's I've I've had I've been up at like the fucking improv with a set that's killed at the improv before. Yeah. And I go up and it just eats shit. I'm like, well, yeah. All right. Uh huh. Yeah. That that was one of the big first lessons that I learned right away. Was. You know. I just killed saying it this way. I'll say it exactly the same way. Surely it'll work again. Bomb. Such a big bomb. I, I didn't touch a stage for like a, two weeks, I think. I took two weeks off. I, I was just like crushed. And then, um, and yeah, I started, started, started going back. Yeah, I don't know. Been that way my whole life. Hyper folk, hyper vigilant is what I've, I've heard people say it is. Which helps with stand up, I think. It helps me find material. And read rooms. Yeah, the, a lot of the material I find is just like, just like standing in a checkout line, like not looking at your phone, just going like, why, why is that guy trying to use the coupon? Uh huh. Like, dude, it's, it's four dollars off a bottle of a case of water. What, Who cares? What, what are you doing? Yeah. Dude, speaking of being in line, I was at the gas station uh, the other day, and. I had to, I was just getting a Red Bull. So I go and grab the Red Bull. Just one Red Bull. And there's a dude in front of me who was buying 36 lottery tickets. Oh, my God. And he was like, yeah, let me get the, well, I don't know, I won't do the voice, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah I mean, you know, maybe don't do the voice, but. But, you know. It's, this, it's the voice, though. This just gentleman went, uh, yeah. hey, man, let me get, let me get. <laughs> let me get. I won't do the voice. <laughs> He said, let me get uh, three number threes and a uh, number four, and uh, how much for the number seven? (laughs) And I was like, just like, long day at work, you know? Mm -hmm. I just need to get the Red Bull so I can get home and end of the day. In the day. I'm like still on, right? And then he he, like, he hands him the first, he's like, let me get the number three. And then he's scratching it at the fucking thing. And like while he the other cash register guy's getting the other ones and he's scratching and he like no fucking sense of social awareness. No courtesy. No fucking No care idiot. for the people around him. I cannot fucking stand those people. I was behind him, there's a dude behind me, and I look at this dude like behind me and he's like And I'm just like I I just start looking around and I do the you know, dude looks back at me, the, the lottery ticket man, and he keeps going. And then he gets the one where you fill out the numbers, you know? Mm-hmm. And he's like, out. He just starts doing that. And I was just like... Just no regard for social norms. None. No courtesy. Nope. Nothing. And then, like, him and the, the cast register guy, like, started, like, just... They kept talking. And I, I, I had this thought. I was like... I, sh- I wanted to just say out loud, I was like, what, what if I just, wa- I should just leave. Yeah. I should just leave. I'm here to buy a thing and you're not, like, you're not wanting me to buy this. Yeah. I should just fucking steal this. Yeah, that, that's what they're doing on Rodeo Drive. You yeah. Should, you should just do that with a Red Bull <laughs> Why instead, not? Of a, instead of a 10 grand Balenciaga bag. Why not? I was like, I should just steal this. Yeah. And then maybe if I said that, then they, they'd be like, oh, well, no, you got to pay for that. Let me. Mm. Let me pay for it. That that's that's the worst kind of human being. I, I I run into those people all the time. I had that the other day. Uh, I went to go 
uh, park at work, mm-hmm. and I I. Th- I parked perfectly in my spot. You know how hard parking oh, in Los Angeles no, is? Oh, yeah. And how all the spots are way too small. They're way too close together. I parked perfectly. Mm-hmm. And then this guy in a white BMW, just saying. Do the accent. I'm just saying. <laughs> he pulled in next to me, parked way too close. And I watched this because he parked too close that I couldn't get out of, of, of my car. Mm-hmm. So he like backed in. So I was waiting for him to get out of the car so I could get out and go back into work. And he goes out, slams the side of my car with his door, and then I'm I'm watching him in the, in the you know the side mirror. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. And he slams my car door, and then he shuts it, and he looks around, and he goes, man, why is he parking so damn close to me? And then walks oblivious, oblivious, yeah. uh-huh. has no clue. I was yep. I was just like I, I I I sat there for like a solid 15 seconds with my jaw on the floor like. No wait, that was your fault uh-huh. though. That w- that was you. And, and, then, there's and then, nothing you could have done to to let him re- recognize here's that. Here's the thing. I th- I thought about rolling down the window, but then that kind of hit me. I was like, what's this guy's He's a bot. He's a lost cause. He's, He's gone. just a bot. He's gone. I I park perfectly. You park wrong. You open the door, slam it into my car, and then go, "Man, why is he park I'm not going to do the accent. Man, why is he park so close to me?" <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Like, f- why, dude? I don't know. It's just no social awareness. I I don't get it. I run into those people every fucking day. And I was stuck behind this fucking lottery ticket buying guy, and I was like, "You're not gonna win the lottery." <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not gonna win <laughs> the fucking lottery. What do you know? Nobody this for? wins the lottery. Yeah. And then it's just, oh, but someone wins it. No, they don't. But it's not you. Yeah, it's never you, dude. It's never you. It's not gonna be you. Even Stop the, it. even the people who are like, well, it was me, it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> you never win the lottery. Uh, and then what if he fucking oh what if he God. won though? <laughs> <laughs> then you can't be mad at him. Yeah, if he wins, I take back everything I've said. Yeah. But only if but he fucking when, wins. When he does lose, uh-huh. then just stay mad at yeah, him. Yeah, thanks for wasting my fucking time. Yeah. Even if he won, congratulations, you blew all your fucking money in a second. Fucking piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy, dude. <laughs> fucking making me two minutes late to somewhere I didn't need to be. Man, we are all over the goddamn place today. I'm gonna tell you this. I'll tell you what. I'm I'm fine with a short and sweet Merry Christmas short podcast. I'm fine with that too. Dog. I got nothing. <laughs> I'm on vacation mode. Yeah, we, me too. Me too. We got a flight tomorrow morning back yep. home to Nashville. Yep. For Christmas, and I'm just I'm checked out to be honest. Listen, listen, viewers, you guys are getting the fucking scraps right mm-hmm. now because we are on the verge of a grand vacation. I don't even feel bad. We've given you guys so much entertainment in <laughs> these past almost two years, two weeks away from two years. <laughs> what like, do you guys want from us? Come what on. do you want? Are you not entertained? <laughs> Bombing episode 98. Thank you guys so much for watching episode uh, 98. Tune in next week for episode 99. 99 problems, but the podcast ain't one. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. That's right. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I hope you have a nice... I hope Santa doesn't give you a cold. That would suck. Good night.